Now we're watching 8 bit days a week, and I'm gonna be playing a Tecmo classic. This, um, you may be familiar with the NES version of this one. Actually, that's the first one I played before the arcade, so I was actually surprised that there was an arcade version of this. And this is Tecmo's Solomon's Key. Um, yeah, I guess the rooms are different. <laughs> I'm uh, actually stunned for a moment there. But I guess gameplay remains the same. Come here. Gah. Come here. All right. Now, what's the simplest way to do this? There you go. So, yeah, get the items, free the fairy, find the. Uh, Oh, this one looks more familiar then. Oh no! <sighs> wow, is it just me or this is harder than the NES version. I thought I could easily breeze past through this, especially this stage looks more like the one in the NES. Alright. Come here. Come here! It's a Mr. Fairy. She actually avoided me, I would say. Oh yeah, now this is yeah indeed like the NES version, so maybe I'm just misremembering the first stage. Oh, idiot. Those who enjoy puzzles game will... I uh, really enjoy this one. <sighs> I'm actually not that much into these styles. I'm more of the run and gun, hack and slash type of uh, <laughs> games. Some might say the mindless ones at least. time here. Yeah. Oh no. Oh man. I wish you could just kill the enemies with your magic wand or something. Ah. 
Oh, how nice. It remembers that I got the key already. Okay, that's it. I think that should be it for this video. If I'm sure you're familiar with this game by now. It's also available on the... If you have like the NES Switch Online subscription, you'll get the NES version. Uh, it looks the same. I mean, I'm sorry, it plays the same, but this one of course looks and sounds different. And the um, game could be fun. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm uh, I'm just not really into this kind of... Uh... No! <coughs> Almost. You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.